and welcome to my video about how I plan my trip. Now before we get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went ahead and subscribe and like, it really helps me out. Now let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. I wanted to show you guys how I plan everything out, especially when I'm doing a trip by myself. It saves time and money. Granted, I won't be doing everything as planned. I still like to have a general idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing. In order for me to have an idea of what I'll be doing, I brainstorm the type of things that I wanna do and I do all of that and my notes on my phone. After the brainstorm, after the Airbnb purchase, how do I actually plan my days? Let's go to Google and we're gonna go to Google Maps. So now that we're at Google Maps, we are going to go to your places and then we are gonna go to map. As you guys can see, I have multiple maps and then I have a map from my Milan trip. I'm just gonna show you guys the Milan as an example of what a finished, well, I'm still you know, playing around with it, but pretty much what a finished map would look like. So first things first, I'm gonna be coming from the airport and then I'm gonna go all the way over here somewhere. Now I'm not gonna get into it completely with the Milan map. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this with the, with the Paris map. So this is your map and you would click on create map. Because I already have an untitled map that I started this morning, I'm not going to create a map, but you would click on create map. And when you click on create map, it's gonna pop up into this thing and it's going to be untitled. I like to title my stuff because I like to know what I'm doing. This one's gonna be Barcelona, March 2019. And um, description, the dates that I will be there. This right here is what you call a layer. The way I like to plan is to make my layers dates. So I'm gonna be in Barcelona on March 16th. I'm gonna call this one March 16th, 2019. And voila. Now how do you add layers? How do you add this and that? Well, you add a layer. And wow. Wow, it's a whole nother layer. So I'm gonna label this March 17, 2019. You guys see what I'm getting at here? So you're just building up your itinerary by date. Why do I like to do my itinerary on here? Because it saves me some time. I get to see everything completely. Where will I be staying in Barcelona? I will be staying at the, at the Niu Hotel in Barcelona automatically this is gonna be a spot that I want to add to my list I don't know if you guys see this left hand corner the little blue highlighted area is where whatever you click on will go so right now I want to focus on the day I get there I'm gonna go ahead and click on that my hotel is now added to my itinerary I just like to have that there so I can see how far things are from my hotel everything you add to your itinerary is gonna be this color and have this location thing. I don't like that because when I'm looking at stuff from a distance, I like to see what I'm really doing or what that place is without having to click on it. So I'm going to put the house. The house symbol lets me know that this is where I'm staying. Another thing I like to do is add the airport. The airport code there is BCN. This is the airport. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my list. And like I said, I like to know what I'm looking at. This is the airport, so I'm going to be looking for a plane. Oh man, there's no plane. You're going to click on more icons, type in plane, and it's a plane. I click on that. And look, this is out of order. I'm not going to get to my Airbnb, I mean to the hotel before I get to the plane. How do you fix that? You click on it and you drag it. Simple as that. You can even drag it to, watch this, a different date. Wow, it's crazy. So let's go ahead and put this back. So off the bat, I already know what I'm gonna be doing as soon as I get there. Get to the airport, go to the hotel. So let's kind of back this up a little bit so we can see that full view real quick. Airport, hotel. I already see a kind of distance I'm gonna be dealing with, so on and so forth with that alone. Oh, and another reason why I like this, whenever you put something in, it gives you the phone number, it gives you the site, it gives you all sorts of stuff, it's pretty cool. And you could also edit this. Here's the edit button you can edit it and put whatever details that you want to put in here for me let me go to the airport the details that I want to put underneath my airport is I'm going to arrive in Barcelona at 12 20 p.m. so I'm gonna say arrive 12 20 p.m. Now you guys have the basics of how to plan right when you get there. 
after the basics, let's get into the actual itinerary. Like, oh crap, what am I gonna be doing? First things I think about when I actually wanna do something is what am I gonna eat? So Google again, our best friend, best restaurant, best restaurants in Barcelona. All right, best restaurants in Barcelona. Let me tell you guys my favorite sites to look at whenever I'm looking for food. Eater, so I'm gonna go ahead and open a tab for that. Timeout, Eater, Timeout, Trellis. There's a couple of sites that I really enjoy looking at when it comes to looking for food. Now, why do I love looking at Eater? You see this? Y'all know I love my maps. I love how everything is already just set. Like, I know what I'm looking at. I know where I'll be going. And also, Another thing I love about Eaters, price range. They give you a price range, you guys. You guys, if you watched all my other vlogs, you know how big I am on pricing. I like to put up how much things cost. So this is big for me as well. I really love Eater. The majority of my restaurant suggestions come from Eater or Time Out or Thrillist, so on and so forth. For the sake of this video, to keep it short, I'm not gonna actually look through these restaurants the way I would look through them. I'm just gonna say I like it and I go with it. Oh, I clicked on this random thing and this is what it gave me. And I'm cool with that price range, $2 sign. I'm gonna highlight and I am gonna go back to my map and I'm gonna put it in a little search bar. And now there's a couple of them. Just always make sure that you have the right address. So C, commercial seven. I'm assuming this is it because it says commercial. And there it is. And I'm gonna change. You guys know I like to change it. It's gonna be food. All right, now I got a food spot. I need another food spot. I'm here for two days. I gotta eat somewhere else. Let me look at Time Out. Mm. Now Time Out is also good. It's just that they don't show me pricing like I would prefer, but that's fine. Basically, you do have to look through everything. To save some time, I went ahead and added a couple of vintage shops and restaurant and bars by random. This is how it all looked put together. And like I said, do it by random or do the things, add whatever you wanted to do and do not add them to certain dates just yet. Just just add them all in one day. Let's pretend this is every single thing I wanted to do in Barcelona during my two days there. Now that I see this, I can kind of see like how close things are to one another. Obviously, where I stay and two of the places I wanna shop at and this place called, you see how when you hover over it, it gets highlighted to the left of you? This place called Can Valaro, I think, are all close together. So I'm like, you know what? I will leave all of that on the first day. I'm gonna leave my shopping, but you see how it's all out of whack? Yeah, that makes no sense. I'm gonna wanna eat first. So I'm gonna move that and then I'm gonna move, yeah, the food is right there. So I'm gonna move the food and the shop together. And then the last thing I'm gonna do before I go back home is shop at that last place. So all this other stuff I'm gonna put on the next day. I just kinda want to show you why I like to use Google Maps as a itinerary. I put everything that I wanted in one spot and I could see how close it is and I could see how I should plan my day. I really like it like that. So yeah, let's say my last stop on the 16th is gonna be Lullaby Vintage Stop. Now I got all these other things. So here's another thing. There's gonna be some places that you will be multiple times. That means I'm gonna look up the new you hotel again. You see how when the place that you already have, the certain um, location is highlighted on that certain date, you can't add it again, it's already there. So you're gonna have to click the other date or click your other layer and then add wherever you're gonna be staying. And then it gives me the opportunity to add it to the map again but this time it's gonna be added to the date that I want it to be added to and yay it's there when you back up on your map you're gonna see it a good two times so now that I'm focused on my second day on my second day I'm probably gonna want to take the path of I'm at home I'm gonna go this way that way and all the way up of course I'm gonna want to eat let me drag this restaurant down here I ate I'm gonna want to drink some things let me drag that down here okay now I feel like clubbing okay I'm gonna go clubbing let me take that man that little dancing man and put him over here and I'm probably gonna go for drinks after I go clubbing so I guess I'll go up a little further so let me take that and then drag it down there and then I'm going to go home right now you have both of your days planned out me personally when I'm looking at the map I don't like to see one blob of color for multiple days so you like I said you could also go in and paint it a different color my favorite color is purple so I'm gonna do the second day in purple and after I paint all the second day activities in purple it's gonna be obvious what is for the first day and what is for the second day and I really really appreciate that so now that all the second day activities are in purple and all the first day activities are in blue you can see a path of 
how you're gonna be spending your trip. So my first day, I'm gonna be around this little area a lot. My second day in purple, I'm gonna be moving a little more in this kind of linear path. And then I'm gonna be coming back home. And that's it. That's how I plan my trips, you guys. And I love doing it. You see how everything is more, at least to me, it clears things up. Because you could literally go somewhere and not have a clue where you're going and what you're doing and waste your money. Imagine me coming from the airport, going to my Airbnb, I mean my hotel, and saying, hey, I wanna go shopping, but I want some drinks. So I go all the way up here because I heard about it. But then I realized all the shopping stuff was down there and close to me. And I could have ate some. It just makes no sense, honestly. It makes no sense. You don't have to follow the itinerary perfectly, but at least have an idea of the area you'll be in and kind of wing it from there if you want. That's it. And that's how I plan my itinerary. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And I hope this helps you out. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos. I have three vlogs up after I come back from Europe. I'll have four different videos, one video per country. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, come back. Love you. Goodbye.